These are the best decks for every hero in Clash Mini. First up is this Archer Queen deck. It is a 3 elixir cycle deck. It consists of the Golden Giant, the Giant Skeleton, the Musketeer, the Lumberjack and the Mini Pekka. It consists of 4 frontline while 2 backlines. The Giant Skeleton and the Golden Giant are gonna be your tank. Lumberjack is gonna just speed up your Archer Queen and the Musketeer. The Musketeer is just to protect your Queen and for the first round we might just lose because a Skeleton King will revive with 12 HP which our Queen will not withstand and our giant skeleton will also just die any second from now our giant skeleton will die and honestly if we manage to win this game it means this deck is really strong since archer queen is one of the worst heroes while the skeleton king is one of the best okay I, that's a pretty bad roll we will get the musketeer i honestly wanted that lumberjack because yeah lumber because at this point the mini pekka doesn't dissipate it just lose the duration to when the super will come so yeah maybe you can just switch up the mini pekka with the bowler or the healing ranger both are honestly really good but i opt for the mini pekka because it might just be useful at some scenarios and we might just lose this round too because okay so our archie queen just clutched up and that musketeer knockback is honestly really good and Musketeer is currently really synergizing very well with the ranged heroes like the Count, I mean Countess, I mean, I meant to say the Royal Champion and the Archer Queen. She just dominates with the ranged heroes as she protects them pretty great. And if you just get her to 3 star, she is gonna be just insane. She just carries the game. We're gonna play the Musketeer on the electric tile and our giant skeleton, I mean, the golden giant is not gonna be knocked off and our. Musketeer got a pretty good super on the Skeleton King and the Prince and we will also win this round. This deck is honestly dominating pretty well against this meta. Let's see what he has got for the round 4. For round 4 maybe I can get the Musketeer to 3 star. Okay, that's pretty good. I can easily get my Musketeer to 3 star. Let's just sell the Mini Pekka and we might get the Clash ability for the Lumberjack because that's honestly pretty great as we can just instantly charge it super as the electric tile is just gonna charge it to 3 to 4 energy while the rest will be done by the speed boost. 1 energy is left, we got our super charge, a stun at the start which is gonna be a long stun since we have the extra stun duration. Another super from our Musketeer, Musketeer is going low, okay so is Magic Archer this time just clutched up against my Archer Queen. But let's see what he has got for the last round and how we will face him against. Uh, we will get the stun upgrade for the golden giant and place him on the electrile because he has a super which our giant skeleton doesn't. And by using this setup I will prevent most of the damage from the magic archer but the mini pekka might just give it the piercing value. If the, okay, the magic archer isn't aligned and it is going for the giant skeleton. So no piercing values, healing, I mean the musketeer gets the bow stability, the archer queen is using a super, another super from our musketeer and we will win. Musketeer come on, the musketeer used a super, bow healing from the musketeer and everything's down and that's how you play the best archer queen deck. It's time for the barbarian king deck. For the barbarian king deck, you know what's the story. We got the two elixir deck with the spear goblin, the barbarian the ice wizard the knight and the archer the combo of the barbarian ice wizard and archer is just completely busted with the barbarian king combined evis is getting some stuns but our barbarian king is going towards the skeleton king which is gonna die really soon okay a skeleton king is dead and we won round one and honestly this deck really works against the skeleton king which i thought it won't because two elixir minis are generally really squishy so it will speed the skeleton king souls but honestly it just overwhelms the skeleton king with the amount of souls he gets or it doesn't get the souls because of the damage output of this deck uh, we will use the bard synergy against his evis okay so he is not protecting his evis so it is going to go down uh, some stuns from the swordsman swordsman is going for 3 stars uh, but the swordsman is gonna go down okay swordsman is still alive 
archer is going to damage the skeleton king and we will win the round number 2. For round 3 I honestly want to get the knight because he's gonna be pretty tanky. Ok we got the knight. Let's just 3 star our barbarian because he's our main damage dealer. And archer is just gonna take care of the back lines. Even if he goes for a magic archer healing ranger they will die of the archer just because of the barbarian combo. And this combo still needs a nerf because the barbarians plus 1 damage really dominates against the 3 star healing ranger which is pretty annoying as I love healing ranger. And the barbarian king, okay it didn't got this super. Barbarian is going totally ham. It might just get rid of the swordsman. Swordsman is down. Uh, now we might just kill the skeleton king. And that's how you easily 3-0 against a uh, skeleton king. It's time for the countess deck. The Countess deck, we have the Meganite, the Ice Wizard, the Evis, the Barbarian and the Archer. The Archer, Ice Wizard and the Barbarian synergizes really well with each other and can deal with the backlines pretty easily. While the Evis and the Meganite just stuns the enemy units which is really beneficial for the Countess since she could increase the duration of the backstab damage as the opponent will not look towards him for a longer time. Now just like that our countess is getting some backstab value, the backstab value had stopped but now we won round number 1. For round number 2 I might just get my mega knight because he's honestly really strong with this deck because he could stun a lot of front lines at once if placed correctly. We will again mirror the evis because mirrored evis is really strong. And let's just get the archer because it will deal with the back lines like the healing range. Which is really annoying, to be honest. And he's gonna sell his healing ranger and make things invisible while our one of the evils got destroyed by the shield maiden. But we still have another evils, the stronger evils left, which is gonna deal with the golden giant and the skeleton. I mean the shield maiden. And golden giant is getting the backstab damage and everything is going down. And we won round number two. For round number 3, I might just sell one of my mini and get the 2 star something or maybe 1 1 star to the Mega Knight and the Evis. Let's just get the Evis upgraded. Oh no, we can't get it. I might just mirror my Evis because stunning 5 enemies twice is really strong. And let's see what he is gonna place against my mirror. Nothing to counter the mirrored units, the healing ranger will not go down which is really annoying. And in next round I need to take care of that healing ranger with the, maybe the bard synergy. It might work. Because it really works, it really hard counters the healing ranger. As the healing ranger doesn't keep up with the damage of the archer and the barbarian. So yeah, okay we got the bard synergy, it's now just gonna destroy the healing ranger. The bard synergy is up. Now we are just gonna mirror the archer, ok that was a pretty bad roll from our side but we can't do anything about it, maybe in the next round we can just 3 star our mega knight which is honestly really just broken, it's just free wins. Ok so we will take down his healing ranger this time because we have a greater damage output. Now time for his dart goblin which is going to be taken down by our countess backstab damage on the golden giant, the shield maiden is pretty low. And just like that, that's how you play with the Countess deck. The next deck is the Monk deck and honestly the higher up you go on the ladder the more monks you can see. And this contains the Fisherman as a surprise attack. And we will just upgrade our healing ranger with third ability because honestly that's the best ability of the healing ranger. It just provides the value of the speed boost and also the healings. So yeah, okay. The spear goblin connects on the monk, the monk gets the super on the barbarian king and the healing ranger gets some heals, we will eliminate his barbarian. Ok the healing ranger wastes our super, monk is gonna take down, ok he didn't take out his barbarian king but anyways we were gonna lose that round so yeah. For the next round again we will place the monk on the soldier and the golden giant and ok let's just not place the golden giant it's a bad decision uh, I, the he battle leader is just gonna keep the monk alive with the ice wizard which is gonna slow down the barbarian king super getting crosses so yeah 
it will be great this time okay the spirit of the next again connects on the monk the monk is going to super the barbarian king both of them have the soul jar so yeah no kills from there the healing comes from the battle healer and this round we are gonna win this no shot that dice wizard is gonna clutch and we won round number two for round number three let's see what we can get maybe a three star healing range that could be pretty great okay golden giant and let's just upgrade our healing range with this extra damage or maybe the wider area i honestly don't know which upgrade did i pick uh, i'm gonna place the front lines at the back so that i can counter the archer so that they can tank the shots archer is going to connect i don't know Arch is going to connect on both of them and now it is going to feed the super on front line. Okay, so we had got the wider area. I honestly just missed click. I was going for the extra heal, but the wider area is really great too. Okay, so the battle here is staying alive. It got the heal from the healing ranger, more healings and we will win this now. Let's see what our opponent has got for round number 4 since he has lost 2 rounds continuously against my monk deck. Which is not popular at all. I don't know why Monk is having such a low usage. He's such a fun hero to play. We will get the energy upgrade, which is the third upgrade, in order to cycle the Monk supers faster. And we might just connect to our healing range, which will help us to get even more supers and more super equals to more healings, which is total destruction at this meta. And the coming back of the healing range meta is really making me happy. Okay, he didn't got the dissipate, he was a dumb. Okay, so we will lose this round anyways. But maybe this time we will use our secret weapon, which we have been hiding from our enemy. That's the fisherman, and, and that's the best thing about the fisherman. If Clash Mini had an esports, fisherman would have been the most MVP mini at the game. We might just hook his archer or the ice wizard, Me, anything is good here. And we will upgrade our golden giant and let's just 3 star our healing ranger which is really strong. And we will just place a monk the one tile behind to get more damage from the fisherman. We got his archer eliminated which is pretty great and his barbarian king is not going to have the soldier. So we will get that one too and now his miner is dissipating. But our healing ranger will survive the miner and the golden giant is going as a brave soldier and he will just clutch up this win and that's how you play the best monk deck. Next up is the royal champion deck and honestly I really didn't thought that the royal champion would counter the skeleton king such a, in such a great manner because the skeleton king just technically counters the royal champion since with the revival, your royal champion doesn't get reset. We will avoid the heal tile so that he doesn't knock us off with the prince. But he didn't got a prince, so yeah. So it would have been better if I had just placed it on the healing tile, but that's fine. Our royal champion is gonna stay alive. Got a reset. The skeleton king is gonna revive with 12 HP, which is going to go down from the royal champion. Royal champion gets a shield. A little HP on the Skeleton King, it's gonna get a super. But as Royal Champion just landed the finishing blow before the super had thunder, so yeah. For round two, we will get the Golden Giant, maybe because more units equals to more damage. So yeah, and we will get the Golden Giant because we need to get that Musketeer, and we will cycle up the Mega Knight. And I'm gonna place everything on one side in order to prevent the royal gem from getting hit. And also, if he plays a magic archer, which he did play, which is not going to connect towards our backline, so yeah. His skeleton king will all so okay, he got one more soul, which I was really scared of. And to counter skeleton king, you should upgrade your magnite since and place the magnite on the front without any other tank so that he is gonna tank your magnite, which is really tanky, so it will not get any kind of kills and so you will win okay the skeleton king got a pretty good super and this time okay royal champion resets are always op for the next round we might just stick to our plan of upgrading our magnet and we got the larger area because it's really good and it can target the backline and i'm 
predicting that he might just play the magic archer on the same row which I have the magnet on and will place the golden giant one tile behind in order to prevent it from getting hit by the magic archer or any other front line. Okay our prediction just failed but that's fine. The swordsman is not upgraded so no stuns from the swordsman. The healing range just pushes away the magnite and his skeleton king is going to down and resets from our RC. The skeleton king is pretty low and now his magic archer is alive which is gonna go down and that's how you play with the royal champion deck. For the shield maiden deck we have the dart goblin, the healing ranger, the bowler, the prince and the knight. The prince just protects your healing ranger from the bowler and any other clash ability which is gonna annoy her. And then the healing ranger and dart goblin just supplements each other since the healing ranger keeps the dart goblin alive. Well, the Dark Goblin just kills all the minis and so yeah, they disintegrate, disintegrate really well with each other. The Skeleton King is going to be revived. The Magic Archer is down but it will again revive and now the Skeleton King is finally down. The Magic Archer is going down and now his Archer is also going to go down. And we won round number 1 against the Skeleton King. For round 2, either you can upgrade your Healing Ranger or just get your bowler and a healing ranger or the prince and knight it totally depends on the matchup and this time i'm gonna just upgrade my healing ranger and dart goblin because i feel like they're gonna be my win condition here so yeah let's just hope that there was a ready button here in the duels but that's fine okay the spear goblin throws a spear on the shield maiden but that's not gonna do anything against the shield maiden and now the dart goblin has infinite range so it will not move and not come close to the skeleton king everything is going down slowly but steadily and that's how you won round number two round number three either i could just three star my healing ranger get the bowler or one star i mean give another star to the healing ranger okay okay we really didn't got a healing ranger this time so yeah we need to play the bowler this was honestly not planned by myself but yeah, it is what it is. And I know I am uploading tech videos for a while but yeah, the next video is gonna be a great one if I just didn't manage to complete that video in one week so I will upgrade, I mean upgrade I am saying, I will upload another video instead of that which is gonna be a tech video because yeah they are really easy to make and they are a little fun, finding decks is always fun and this time his skeleton king is gonna go down ok come on dart goblin you can just kill it and that's how you win 3 rounds with the shield maiden deck it's time for the next deck for the next deck you guessed it it's the skeleton king clash deck and the way the clash deck works is that it just gets all the units low while the skeleton king will get all the kills and so it will revive with full HP. Well the magic archer and the archer does a great job in taking care of the ice wizards and everything which is at the back. The spear goblin is going to get off the revival of my skeleton king. The monk gets off the revival of my skeleton king too and this is the hometown for the skeleton king because here the skeleton king just completely dominates with his revival. For the next round we will again gonna place our skeleton king on the mirror type and we are gonna use the bowler for the prediction I know it's the wrong side but yeah he might just play something on this side I have a great intuition for this one okay yes as I said he was gonna play something there and so I protected my skeleton king by doing this and now the skeleton king just knocked off his battle healer and the monk is going to knock off my units the monk is turned come on skeleton king you can just get her down and the pierce okay that pierce is not enough so yeah we will lose this round but yeah that's fine because we still have a lot of rounds to play with this monk player we can just toy him because the skeleton king is totally busted in the mirror match by mirror match I mean this map the count is something let's just sell everything and get a better roll we will get the extra damage for the spear goblin because yeah that's the best ability for the spear goblin since the boost 
is pretty conditional while the speed boost doesn't match is up with the extra damage so yeah okay the magic arch is getting the piercing value pretty great and now super from a skeleton king his ice wizard is only alive which is going to go down and now we have only one round before we win and dominate with the clash deck let's just uh, maybe we could just upgrade our magic archer and let's just sell the archer because yeah she's not doing some great job here and let's just sell everything in order to just three star our magic archer with the mirror tile it's a toxic combo and it works really well let's see okay so we are gonna knock off his battle healer and now my magic archer just got some great piercing values and just like that that's how you play with the best skeleton king deck for the final deck we have this wave master deck and for the first round i will go with the strongest combo in the game the dark goblin and the healing ranger combo this deck contains the prince the giant skeleton the knight and the rest of the two minis are on the board you can see and this deck honestly plays a really good job with the skeleton king deck so yeah it's pretty great and the prince knocks off a skeleton king i mean the wave master and the wave master is going to get a super the prince is down the healing ranger will get the heal okay she didn't got the heal in time and so we might just lose the wave master is coming towards the skeleton king and the skeleton king just might just revive the skeleton king is gonna cast a super if our healing ranger gets one heal then we might just win which we didn't so yeah the skeleton king takes the win in this round let's see what we have for the next round i could go for the giant skeleton but giant skeleton doesn't seem to be a great option but yeah it's a pretty decent option at it helps the dark goblin to ramp up easily and we will again gonna play the healing ranger on the energy tile okay maybe we could get a prince hit so yeah let's just remove her uh okay we got again damaged by the prince and our healing ranger is down so there's no shot that we're gonna win this round so yeah come on wave master you can do something okay so our wave master won't do anything special this time so yeah we will lose this round because our healing ranger was down next time i will not get the guard down for a healing ranger that's the strategy don't let your guard down anytime soon the worst thing about giant skeleton is that it will die quickly which you really want and now let's get the prince and i will try to cancel this prince by my friends in order to protect my healing ranger so yeah i will place the prince on the front of the yeah, i didn't got the time to place the prince on the front of my healing ranger but we knocked off his golden giant so yeah that's great his prince just missed that's more great our wave master is going towards the magic archer and now the dark goblin has started to ramp up and the knight is gonna tank and now just like that we won round number three but we still have two more rounds to reverse sweep this dude so yeah for the next round i have just overcome it on my healing ranger because three star healing ranger is the strongest minion in the game you need to accept this truth until and unless you get countered by a valkyrie or a countess or a wizard because yeah those three are really hard counters as they just the anti healer just went on but yeah it's good that they are not part of the meta okay so the wave master is going to be knocked off and more importantly the knight is going to be trapped the wave master uses super pretty great heals 5 hp heal from that again a super is coming from the wave master go wave master it got stunned by the skeleton king but all the minis are down so now only the skeleton king is alive which is gonna die and we are really close to reverse sweeping this dude so yeah okay for this round we might just upgrade our dart problem yep we got the dart problems and now we will just win this round i'm gonna avoid the supercharger because yeah that might just get me out the knight is an okay option because he doesn't play a really significant role as the healing ranger of the dark drop in the wave master so yeah we can risk that and he got the prince and we can answer his bowler that what i was planning by placing the healing ranger front of the bowler 
I mean the prince in front of the healing ranger. And now he links from the healing ranger and Dark Goblin is going ham. And that's how you play the wave master deck. 